Yeah. It's not ideal, is it? <laughs> Hello, you lovely lot. To kickstart this band build series, we are going to be fitting a window and some deadlocks. choosing to fit deadlocks to the van so we can have that extra level of confidence that all of our stuff and all of our beers are going to be safe. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> See, if we drill through here to get the rivets in and then it'll all drop down inside then we can clean it all after it's got all the muck and corruption out. What you're seeing here, which I highly recommend you all do, is to measure, re-measure and then measure a few more times just to make sure you've got it dialed in to that exact location you want it. We picked these bad boys up from Vanlock. The whole set cost around £130. They're really good, but the instructions are a little bit shit. There's no instructions with all the uh, locking mechanism. No templates other than the drawing, which is fine and you've got to figure out how to cut a slot in the end of the door with the flange of the door sticking out. Jigsaw, because it reciprocates, uh, goes in and out. If you're trying to move it forwards, the blade is going to hit the material. You could put a block of uh, wood on there and then do it through there, but then you're doing it quite distance from there. So what we found was doing it with a Dremel, drilling a few holes first of all to get the Dremel tip in, using a tongues and carbide tip, about three millimeters, an eighth of an inch. Um, and then you can just nibble away at it very, very carefully. Bit noisy, but it's done the job in 10, 15 minutes, I guess. Taking it careful, because it's our first one. And then just tweak it afterwards. So yeah, last bit, of it. good to go. Fits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're just putting in the lock-in hole for the outside of the door. It's 56, the instructions give you 56 mil from the edge of the door. Doesn't tell you vertical height, where to drill the hole and where to put the um, lock-in device. So we're just gonna have to work that out. But if I draw this center line here first, get a straight edge on there. Got 56 mil. It's somewhere in there. <laughs> so we'll take the lock out and then work out position. And let's get the center of this hole. Some 18.28 and then half hey 30.76 from there to the bottom after some quick maths we then got to work shaping the keyhole ready for the locking cylinder to do this we used the tungsten carbine tip on the end of the dremel and i'll link this down below so you can check it out for yourself Finally, we used a rivet gun to secure the lock to the van. For more detail on how we did this, check out the blog post that I'll link down below. Just fitting this plate onto there, Ding. and then that is one deadlock done. It's only taken a whole day. No, a day and a half. Okay, so uh, whilst the turn plate is being made, I just want to show you around the garage, the workshop as such, show you what's going on in there. Okay, so we've got, we've got the window, which is the one that we're just about to put in. We've got Max Air Fan over here, which will be going in soon. We've got some piping for the heater. We've got the roof rack, which is going on. Epic. Uh, we've got some insulation. And we've got another window in here. Oh, it's going to be good, it's going to be good. How's it going? How's the template going? Yeah, I'm doing the template different from the ones on the YouTube. Because they just do one for the, the see-through bit. I'm doing one for locating in there to, to locate the see-through bit as well. So it's the next stage on, it's the next level template. Do you just follow the, what YouTube tutorial says. YouTube That's tutorial is what? It's all wrong on YouTube. But they do it. Take note that if you find a really good YouTube tutorial, stick with it. Don't freestyle it. Taping it up. Measure, measure. So that side is. That's going to be the window. More in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's 107. Hey, yeah. It's not going too well. They're remeasuring and measuring, so. I'm not really sure what's happening. This window fits exactly inside the door recess. Um, normally, most people have the windows without the sliding parts on them. Uh, this one has got the slider, uh, retains the sliding section on it. So it's actually wider, you have to cut uh, a window hole wider than normal. Uh, normally you, you just measure up to the transparent bit of the window. Now we've got to measure from the outside to the edges, outside to the edges at the bottom, outside edges to the uh, each side, and then we're going to cut, mark it up up there and then cut it out. So when, you, when you're doing this, when you're trying to do the curves, uh, connect the curves up, make sure you've got a compass, like a scribe, a compass, just anything, because uh, this works. What we're doing, it's not great. All right, let me show you. Job to the extreme. Dodge it and run. And that's uh, just a little bit too small. Yeah, we're just taping up around where we're going to be cutting, uh, just so we don't damage the van with the jigsaw, not that that's going to matter too much. It's just also a really good guide. I see it a lot better. and propping the window up, ready for it to set overnight. Join us on our next episode where we'll be fitting the Max Air fan, the roof rack and another window. Smash that like button, make sure you've subscribed and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, just fitting deadlocks is what we're doing. That's the, that's the aim of the game today. Let's uh, fit some of those deadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly.